Hey folks, this is John. Just doing a video on some new parts that I got to freshen up my 04 SS. It's an 04 SS with uh, less than 90,000, no, 92,000 miles on it. got the FE3 suspension and of course for upgrades I went to ZZP performance or ZZ performance and picked up the GMPP uh, GM performance parts larger diameter sway bar this is basically the same size if not the same part that they have on my brother's car, which is the 04 SS uh, supercharged model, the Dale Jr. edition. This bar comes with um, those rubber fittings right there and the end links straight from AC Delco. And then for the rear, I also wanted to spruce that up a bit. So I went with the larger diameter ZZ Performance Sway Bar. It's red, so it's got to be better than the stock rusty one. And for that, I ended up going with, um, for the end links, I wanted something better than the AC Delco parts. So I went with Moog, which is a Federal Mogul's um, product, their racing line, or at least their performance lineup. And these end links are significantly, or at least they look significantly uh, stronger than the OEM on my FE3 suspension Monte Carlo. Um, these also have the banjo bolts here for grease fittings, or whatever those fittings are called. But so this should be nice. Hopefully, I'm going to have this installed today, and can't wait to see how it rides because my brother's Dale Jr. car I thought they did a great job with the suspension on that the only other thing that I'm gonna do my car is riding on American racing rims 17 inch by seven and a half 225 look at these tires 25 55 17s the only other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna if the suspension works out nice with the sway bars I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, the lowering kit the drop-in lowering kit for this from ZZ performance Uh, they have the um, the Gen 2 springs that lower the front two inches, the rear an inch and a half. And I think, together with this suspension upgrade and the springs, I can't help but think it's going to be, it's going to ride really nice. I mean, there's plenty of room in the wheel wells for this. The only thing I'm concerned about is the, when you lower these cars, you get the vibration Apparently, I don't know anything about it, but that's what I've read. So if I have to, I'll get the shorter um, brackets for the engine to tilt the engine a little bit to get rid of that. But this is it. I'll do a follow-up video on my impressions, but I'm really hoping that this uh, adds a nice ride to the car. I mean, with 92,000 miles, the, the struts need some replacing anyways. One of them is already kind of jumping up and down. It feels like when I'm going around left-hand sweepers. Um, really looking forward to it. All right, I'll do a follow-up video. Thanks for watching. And um, oh, the only other thing that I wanted to do to the suspension was um, ZZ Performance also has some real nice trailing arms, and they appear to be a lot stronger than the stock. Uh, chintzy cheap, cheap metal that they use on these kinds of stocks so I'm going to do that as well.
for anyone watching this, when you guys leave comments um, on vendor sites like ZZ Performance, it really helps people like me that, you know, it's, what's it, 2018, my car's 14 years old, and because of finances and kids and family, I never had time to do all this stuff, but, you know, this stuff really is kind of fun to do to, you know, wake the car up, make it a little bit better than what it was, and uh, reading you guys' comments on sites like ZZ Performance really helps for people like me to see which way to go, and, you know, just your impressions on the products and stuff. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.